What do you do? It's your boy R. Right, welcome back to AM Out Advice. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing all right. I cannot complain. I'm here back with another reaction video. We're here reacting to Country Wing when my what? damn I can't read when my drug dealer uncle hired me to work for him. Oh, that nigga get a that nigga really nigga basically get a summer job. Um. Being a drug dealer, you know. <laughs> you know, let's see what's up, man. Y'all, y'all know. If you don't know country man, your auntie know country man. I promise you. Watch when I press play, y'all gonna realize. Play. I know him. Y'all know by his name, but y'all know him by his face. I promise you. But if you guys need to channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment on like your stuff down below in the comment section. The original video to this video will be in the description down below in the comment. And the uh, little box below. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I can't remember. But that being said, let's get into this video, man. Who? Wait, did I press? Uncle, he hired me as a professional drug dealer one time. I was hired. I like how he you said professional. Looking at me like you judge me. When I graduated, I already had some kids. So my uncle came to me with a cash money drop. He said, nephew, I pay you a thousand dollars a month. I mean a week to ride with me to go pick up a weed. He was a big time drug dealer. He had all the weed. He had the loud and the quiet. That's all right. <laughs> you don't smoke that quiet heavy. You smoke it, that's all you can say. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, he said he gonna pay me a thousand dollars a week. That's some bread. Him to go pick up the weed. I say, damn, thank you, Ooh, Jesus. Good. This is a good job. I know, right? Trust me, bro. That's a good job. But it was more to the job. He said, you know, when we get pulled over, I want you to take the charge. I said, what? <laughs> he said, no, I want you to take the charge because you ain't never been in trouble. So if you get caught, they gonna let you out on probation. Oh hell no! That's what he said he gonna pay me a thousand dollars a week. And we get caught with the weed, they gonna let me out on probation. He be like, yeah. I say, well, can we get this in writing and sign by parentheses? Four grand? Nah, bro. I need so more I than that. This is the best job in the world. I'm making a thousand dollars a week. The first two weeks I was nervous. I was just riding the car all nervous because I didn't want to get caught. But after about two weeks, I had to get comfortable, man. I was laying in his car like it was a Cadillac. Ah. It wasn't up with a beautiful to say, bro, but I was laying. Like it was a Cadillac. I got so cocky with my job, I told all my friends who went to college, I said, y'all need to get y'all life together. <laughs> so me and my uncle ride, man, I done made a whole year, ain't nothing happening. I'm making a thousand dollars a week. Everything good. Easy money. Huh? Everything good. Everything going good. Easy huh? money. My uncle he used to drive laid back too. So one day, he leaned up on the steering wheel like this, nervous. I say, uh, if you got the fart, just let down the window. <laughs> he was like, no. Nah. He said, man, the police behind us. I said, what? I said, is they behind both of us? Yeah, yeah no. I said, both of us. <laughs> get like, nervous, no, You know what time it is. You know what time it is. What? I said, no, it's just four o'clock. That's what time it is. <laughs> I said, he said, no, nah, nephew, I've been paying you a thousand dollars a week now. You got to take the charge if the police pulls over. I said, damn. So, you know, I kept it real, so the police pulled us over. But I didn't know you're supposed to keep your composure. But I didn't know that. See, he knew that because he was an OG. But me, I was still a GG. I was a little German baby. I ain't know. Because I was supposed to keep, he kept his composure. The police pulled us over. I'm over there singing a church song. So I was like, no weapon formed against me. So the police yeah, see me. He see I was nervous. He told him he got in the car. He knew something was wrong. So he laid us on the grass. If you laying on the grass, you know what I mean? And at this point, I kept it real. I said, you know what? My uncle been paying me. No, that's not enough, bro. I got to take a charge. No, bro. I don't want them to be hashtagging snitch on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept, I kept it real in my mind. I said, I'm going to keep it real. But so the police went to the trunk. Because you know the weed back there. You can smell it. As soon as he opened Try the trunk, this. I heard the trunk go. Rrr. I had a slight stroke on the side of the road right there. <laughs> You do in the back here. Yeah. When I woke up, click clink. I woke up, click clink. I said, I'm gonna keep it real. My uncle been paying me a thousand dollars a week. I got a thousand dollars in my pocket for this trip right here. It ain't nothing weed anyway. But this when the game changed. The police looked in the trunk and said, Good God, they got pounds of marijuana and crack cocaine. I oh. So I ain't have no crack in my application now. <laughs> No, bro. I snitching. I snitching. I am snitching. You know, crack, bro. Well, it's my uncle. He on parole. I don't want to get in trouble. That's a completely different charge. 
You know, he got to put some more money on my 401k or something. <laughs> but I say, even though crack cocaine and them, they still gonna let me out on probation. Team but so? this is the game change. The oh. police said, whoever all this is, they gonna at least get 10 years in prison. So, whoa. 10. Whoa. So I took the thousand dollars out my pocket he had paid me. Just slide that back over. And I slid it back to him like this right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's bro, that's not enough. That's not enough. I don't want it. I don't need it. Keep it. I don't want it. He gonna look at me talking, what, what? I said, man, I quit. <laughs> so the police told us to stand up inside the car, so I quit, stood up, and I was brushing the grass off me, and I was bouncing like a free man. Cause I know I don't work for that company over there no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my uncle, uh -huh. so the police came to my uncle first. The police say, is this your pounds of marijuana, crack cocaine? My uncle shook his head, no. I reached over and whispered in the ear. I say, uh, you shaking your head the wrong way, brother. <laughs> uh, the police came to me and say, is this your pounds of marijuana and crack cocaine? I said, I swear to God on Jesus. Oh. Ain't nothing on this highway, man. <laughs> I, said, I ain't even got a car. <laughs> so the police said, one of y'all don't take the charge. Both of y'all going down for the same drugs. I said, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I said, officer, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me snitch. But this is my uncle. We got the same blood. Uh -huh. My uncle, my mama's side, that's it. We got half the blood. I said, but I ain't finna snitch on my uncle. I ain't that type of guy. I said, but I tell you one thing. One thing I know for sure. It ain't mine. It ain't mine. I blame you. It ain't mine. Just still. <laughs> See? <laughs> he get it. He get it. He get it. <laughs> it ain't mine. <laughs> so my uncle went back to prison. Oh, I mean, we all expect. Come on. Now. I got back home. All my cousins talking. Awesome. Man, that messed up, man. You could have took that charge for on. You weren't going to get no Ten. good year. You could have laid down for a year. Ten years? I said, first of all, I ain't that damn sleepy. That's so stupid. For four grand a month? Nah, bro. And you got caught the second month, I think you said? Nah, bro. I said, my health teacher said I only need eight hours of sleep. You only made eight grand off of that entire job. Bro. That, that ain't worth it, trust me. You know what is 10 years for? Nah, boo-boo. Sorry, boo-boo. I can't do it. Call me a snitch as much as you want. My child ain't going down for nobody. Oh my gosh. Call me a snitch. I really don't care. I never live to have friends. I, I don't have friends like that anyhow. So, call me a snitch. I ain't got no friends anyway. That's okay. So it, don't make me, it don't make a difference anyhow. But, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. That was Country Rain. If you guys are new to the channel, if anything you want to react to, just drop it down in the comment section. I'll try my best to get to it and react to it. But with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, joyful, and remember, the world is yours. Peace.